All right, tubes. Here's what we're gonna do today. We're not gonna do anything mechanical with the engine or anything like that, but we gotta make a cart for it or a display table or something. Something that we can put the battery in and uh, the starter and stuff like that. So what I got here is uh, five quarter, they call that. You know, it's uh, about one inch thick. And I try to get clear wood, you know? You gotta, you gotta really uh, dig through the pile. This one was pretty good. It's a 12 footer. And it only has like uh, one knot there, and uh, I'm not going to use that. The, the, the thing's only going to be about uh, maybe a little under four foot. Even the pine, I was able to get some uh, pine without knots. You know, not so much for structure, just for looks. I think it looks a lot better without the knots in it and stuff like that. So uh, let's take a walk inside, and I'll show you the kind of cart we're going to try and design. Now we're going for like a little table like here where Missy's on. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get a template and uh, get the get the arcs in the round, this, everything I want. Because that's, that's almost identical. That way I don't have to figure anything out. I'll just copy that. But that's what we're going for with the, with the slot at top because we're going to need a slot for the, the fan belt to go through. All right. All right, this engine, just the engine alone, from the pulley to the housing here is a little over 24 inches so you're going to have to uh, let's see uh, I think we're going about 10 inches past there let me see this with handles on it and stuff like that we're going to be close to uh, 44 inches or maybe 40 till I'll try to cut it down to 40 till Okay, it's, uh, it's a pretty long cart, and we're going to go, uh, let's see here, sorry about that, but uh, I had to pull the thing out. That other, that other cart there is 12 inches, and we're going to add 6, so it's going to be, uh, going to be about 18 inches wide, you know, because you got, you got the cap hanging over and the exhaust and stuff like that, so it'll, it'll give it a beefier look. Now, let's get started. That's a good looking engine boy. Alright, we made this little template off the other uh, engine cart there and uh, we're just going to lay it down here and uh, lay our marks out. Now let's lay it out so it looks like. Alright, got our little handles cut in there. Got our slats here for the top. Got this one done here in the vise. Now I'm just going to round the ends off here. There's, uh, Gives it that finished look. Try using a little uh, right angle grinder there. Hope it ain't too aggressive, or else I'll have to use a DA or something. Alright, let's do that, see what it looks like. Alright, we sanded the edges here on the handles, and uh, uh, they, I like them, they came out alright. I, I cut them down with the, the right angle grinder and then hand sanded them, so they're alright. And even the slats here, you know, I rounded four edges just to take the roughness off. I wanted to keep the crowns all in the same direction, but uh, it didn't work out that way. You know, I did, I, I'd rather have the, the nicer side of the wood up than uh, worry about the crown. Nobody, nobody notices that. Nobody even looks at these carts at the shows, so. All right, I'm going to take a break for dinner, and then uh, maybe we'll get back to this and put a, start putting it together. Alrighty, we got it uh, pretty much all put together here. Got the end pieces. These uh, two end pieces are nailed in and glued. And the one in the middle is just clamped on. The rest of these are just sitting there because Mike still has to. Uh, he's got to fit a generator in there. He's got to put a solenoid in there and uh, a key switch. He's got a lot of work to do. So if I if I leave these slats open for him he can uh, he can work a lot easier the one in the middle here is just uh, held in with one nail it's not glued in and a clamp and then I got to cut that piece of uh, lumber there I'll take it over a little racer tomorrow he's got a nice table saw and that'll be our bottom so uh, that's where we're at and uh, the doors the doors just gonna be held on by magnets so they uh, 
I want to be able to take them both of them off so we can work on whatever we have to. Alright, if we uh, get that all done, we'll show it to you. Ready. Alright, the day's gone by, and uh, let me show you where we're at here. I went over a little racers and cut this little platform board. It's not just square, it has a little taper to it. Give it a little bit of shape anyway. The engine has to sit up about an inch and a half so the pulley has a clearance. You know, I could I could have set the pulley in between the boards, but I don't think it would look right. So we got this uh, this hunk of wood done here. I like the way that turned out. I'm gonna take these off here. That's uh, that's right where the, the starter is gonna go. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I can't put. You see, if I had wood across the, the sides here, it would. Uh, it would tighten everything up, and make it structurally sound, but without without the end pieces, you have you have a chance of it uh, collapsing. So what I'm going to do is I was going to put these little metal angle irons in here to support it. But while I was doing that, I had a little racer weld me some gussets on here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in there and have. I'm going to have to cut this one a little bit and have a gusset up here and gusset down here on each corner and then the, the door will actually be held on with magnets but uh, Little Racer did a nice job with this he, uh, he cut these little gussets on there for me and welded them on and then a uh, little dirt bike shaped them up on a sander and uh, filed them down so they uh, got a nice finish to them okay. let's, uh, let's put them on and uh, see what they look like see how they work all right, I got them uh, little gussets there that uh, strengthen it up a whole lot. And what I did here is uh, I put some super magnets on uh, the corners here of each one of these. Super magnets or earth magnets, I don't know what you guys want to call them, but uh, they're strong as hell. And uh, now all I do is uh, stick our little door in here, close it, and it's, uh, it's on there. Ain't going nowhere. And then if we want, when we want to take it off, just uh, pop it off, take it, and throw it across the parking lot if you want to. Won't be in the way. But uh, I like it. All right. I don't know how long this video is getting, so uh, if it's too long, then this is the end. If not, we'll throw a little a little extra on there. So uh, we'll see you later.